The latest New York Times poll shows Robert F. Kennedy at about 13% in the Democratic primary. About a month ago, it was widely reported that he was at 20%, and that was, you know, quite high for somebody uh, like him. But most of the polls then were showing about 13%, so that seems to be where he has settled. Marion Williamson is at about 10%, and the remainder is with Joe Biden. There are a number of different ways to interpret this. One is the obvious. Biden is going to be renominated. Nobody's going to stop him. Neither of these two candidates are going to stop him, nor is another candidate going to get in the race. Barring some major health issue, Joe Biden will be the Democratic nominee in 2024. But we knew that, you know, really two or three years ago. That was always going to be the case. But the other way that I interpret this is that shows that Robert F. Kennedy's the attention he's getting in the media, in part because of his name, in part because of the things he says, and in part because he's being bolstered by uh, the MAGA movement, is much greater than the support he has within the Democratic Party. If he is in this for name recognition, for attention, and maybe to get some political power, it is now more true than ever that his future lies not in some quixotic challenge to Joe Biden where he will get his clock cleaned, but in becoming Donald Trump's running mate. And the reason why that is an advantage, why that is a smart move for Trump is obvious. So I try not to make predictions. I don't think, I wouldn't give this a 50% or better chance of happening, but it's something to consider. If you were Robert F. Kennedy, this is the path. And if you're Donald Trump, that path makes a lot of sense.